Hi everyone and welcome to the second part of the Substance Designer tutorial where we are going to learn how to, to make an, an eye, a procedural eye inside the Substance Designer. So in the first video, uh, in case you haven't seen it, you should have the link on the screen right now. In the first video we, we see how to define the different zone, which is quite easy, and how to make uh, what is called the uh, Syria, uh, I looked on the net and actually it's uh, the sclera, sorry I didn't know the name, so this part around which is the, let's say the white part with all the vents, so that's what we achieved in the first video, once again if you haven't seen it click on the link, uh, which will appear somewhere on the screen. Uh, today we are going to go to focus on the iris, which is maybe the one of the trickiest parts, but I have to start by this one because um, because we are going to an animate the pupil after, um, but we need the iris. So let's go. So why I say it's uh, it's complicated? Uh, because actually there is a lot <laughs> of different eye color, and the iris is defining them. So if we look from one to another you have really different kind of eyes, so I won't be able to make all of them of course, but I'm going to focus first on uh, the blue eyes, so you see there is like a lot of uh, of uh, variation on, um, on the color, like there is like fibers behind, uh, that's what we are going uh, to mimic, and if you look, in, in there is a second part above it, that you could find, you could see here, um, so we're going to try to, to make them both. They are not exactly the same, but we're going to focus on that. So, in order to do that, we're going to do F2, F2, Iris. So it will be this part. We're going to make it a bit bigger. Like that. To give me some, uh, some room to work. Like this. And first I will need <coughs> a splatter circular, we are going to use it a lot, it's uh, something circular, so it's kind of obvious. In order to see what I do, I'm going to, to blend it um, directly with that, mm, maybe not yet. So what I'm going to do is to plug it directly in the diffuse, like that. <coughs> What I want to make sure first is to center the orientation like that. We are going to change the shape as well to something like this. It should be fine, but I have to to change the size a bit, make it really thin like that, and like this. Something that I want is actually I should have the vision this and I want it to move to set the pivot to the maximum if I make one or let me check. Maximum or minimum? No, I think maximum. Why what I want to do is that I want that when it scales uh, the outer part doesn't move, it's the inner part which moves, let's let's see, see that. So if I look at the scale, right now you see it moves like that. Uh, I want it this way, so when I will plug it to as a parameter to move with the pupil size, I want it really to move this way. So let's do that. Mm, let's make sure I don't forget anything. Maybe what? Because if we want them to move this way, I'm going to do something. I may put a pattern input. Maybe a bit more costly, but I, ha I will have more control. Because I want this parameter to change it, but as I will have to add a warp, I will warp it before to, to move it. So, let's create a shape. I don't think I did this way the, the first uh, the first time, but we we can improvise as well. So let's do something 
like um, actually we have a problem I guess no you know what I will keep it this way and it should be fair enough so this I take that I'm going to add a lot of them 200 maybe to start 100 so we we'll see what we do the radius would go almost up to the center it's fine because the, I want the pupil to go a bit above it and uh, I'm going to add some randomness so first in the radius hmm. not this one Am I in max? Yeah. So pattern scale, pattern position random. Yes. Yeah, this is more interesting. So into Make it a bit bigger. Oops. Zero point zero zero five should be fine. Something like this. Just checking to make sure that I did this way. Yeah, I place it really like that, and then it's better at how much I put. Okay, this number. Okay, so let's randomize it even more. So, oops. Radius is fine. Pattern size random. Ah, better. I want to put something like that. Run this. Pattern scale. I don't want to I would leave it to 0 0.5. It's really the size random, which would be interesting. Like 0.3 I'm just playing right now this we may want some but it's too could be interesting for some effect but for a mechanic eye <laughs> it could be cool but that's not what we want the rotation random maybe a bit better not too yeah, now this is too much And it rotates just in one direction. Blending of maps, luminance random. We may add a bit, it could be useful, but not. Should be cool. Okay, so now that we have that, we are going to put a warp just to give some variation. It would be really close to the warp we give to the, the vents on the sclera. So, warp. Right. We are going to call it only noise, I guess. Going to check the zoom one, so I have more control. Okay, not bad. It give you something really interesting, but we need more of them. So I go back to my here. Something like that. It's quite cool because you see, compared to that, the one below. Um, I think we are really close to what we want here. So I'm going to leave it as is and I'm going to start giving some color to that. So right now our color map is here. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go here and change the color to something more bluish. So that's why I'm going left to find a blue color pick and I'm going to pick something blue like that and I'm going right to play with the color because I want something darker first a bit more saturated maybe okay and I'm going to adapt a bit the mask so as you can see here uh, it's not a straight line as we have 
here so we are going to blur that so let's take this mask and add a blur on it way too much of course so we are going to change the intensity to something really subtle something like that should be enough so far we can adjust it later <coughs> so if we look here get this so we get something a bit more interesting and right now what we are going to do is here we are going to add this mask as a color so in order to do that I'm going to stay on the blue eyes so I'm going to first let's see how I can do it by the way I'm going to add a gradient map first that's uh, something that I may change later but for, for now it will be fine and here for the white part I will pick a color on the, on the eyes which are my which would be not this one I'm going to look for something a better ok here I have a nice blue so I will use it pick you don't see it but ok so I'm going to adjust a bit more saturated like that a bit wider this is something that we want to, to tweak later and now I'm going to add a blend here so we have our mask our color and our base And as you see there is a problem here that we are going to fix is that we have to cap this so what we are going to do is use a blend again press it press it I'm going to select a blend here I'm going to put this and I'm going to cap with this mask okay so right now it was the blur that I made and now I'm going to tint it so maybe we want to do that as well like that okay so let's see how it goes it's way better once again something we want to adjust <coughs> sorry I think we have to reduce a bit that in order to avoid this part but that's an adjustment we'll make later so right now we have something a bit more interesting but as you see if I compare to this eye you see that it's way too bright so I have to make the, the background of the iris darker on this part maybe a bit desaturated so let's do this now. It's easy. We we'll go to first uh, this color map here. We we'll change the value to something darker. We we'll change this to something more desaturated. Like that maybe. Not too much. And we we'll go and we need more of them. So we'll go here and we're going to put 800. So that's better. We may want to do some adjustment because you see, I think when I put the rotation, it seems to put on the left. So I'm going to go back here and I think it's the rotation random that I have to find. This, I remove it. Maybe not completely, but a bit like that and this has to be tweaked a bit so okay this, this is interesting if I play with the warp hmm. 
Uh, it's been my fault because I put a direction I warp. So warp. Okay, I did it too fast. So let's plug that here. Let's plug that here. Oops. Let's plug that here. Let's plug that here. This one we don't need. So it's a bit disco right now, but we're going to fix that by diminishing the intensity. Do something around that. I'm going to put a bit more rotation again. And uh, put your position on them. Rotation. Okay, that's way better. So something like that could be cool. Yeah. And I think once again the warp we play with it with but not too much. And this is quite cool I guess. Let me check. If you go too far, you have some artifacts, so you don't want that. The disorder. I think it's okay. So, we have a good idea. One point that I want to specify because here you see that there is uh, um, uh, this part which is not, if I compare to what I showed you at the beginning, let me check that. It's not exactly uh, the same shape as you can see. I just focused on the inner part of the eyes. Uh, the sclera is outside, but in Substance Designer, it cannot handle uh, transparency. Um, so, not actually, it's quite difficult to do it into. So, what I did is here I put the specular directly on the object. Um, if you have to do uh, a, a complete eye, what I would recommend is to. Uh, to model in two parts, uh, like this part and the sclera, but of course to put the all most of the specular information in the sclera. This one would be would have if you want to be really perfectionist, more uh, the subsurface scattering material, for example, with a really low, uh, really high roughness. If you want to speak in a physically based, it would be more something like. Uh, I can put a gray scale here, um, like uh, like this maybe, but and the specular would be outside. So let's continue a bit. Um, what else? So let's go back to our eyes. <coughs> so. So right now what we are going to do, let me check the time, so I don't do it in two times, it's 15 minutes, you know what, I'm going to stop here for this first part, um, So and we are going to add some more elements in the third video, which are, let me check that, not that, and where did I put the eyes, uh, this one, ok, not this one neither, I will find it, ok, here. Okay, so in the next video we are going to try to focus on, on this, you know, the kind of weird part which goes above above this. And we are going to focus also maybe on how to, to fix, change the color and fix it to what we want. So thank you for having watched uh, this video. I hope it has been useful and uh, see you in the next one.